Hello there, this will be a guide on how to fix Farming Simulator 25 when it comes to crashes and the loading screen freezes and micro stutters as well as low performance. Now to do this, first thing we need to do is to go to this following directory. We go to this PC, then go to your C drive then the users folder in the users folder we click on our username this might be different for you then we go to the documents inside the documents we locate my games folder then farming simulator 25 2025 then we scroll down until we find this file right here game then we edit it with the text editor i'm going to use this notepad here then we go to this line right here and this can take multiple values and for this one it's going to depend on your hardware so experiment with different ones until you find the one that works very well for you for amd graphic cards vulcan api works the best but i will leave all the available ones on screen for you to try out after that we just save the file then after that this file and fix is for if the game crashes and is stuck in the loading screen what you need to do is just delete these two folders shader cache and updater for me i don't have the updater folder so i'll just delete shader cache but if you have the other one then delete it once you're done go ahead and go to where the game is installed for you if you have the game on steam it's going to be in the following location program files then steam then steam apps and inside common you will find it but if you have it installed elsewhere make sure to find it for me it's located right here in the games folder farming simulator 25 once you're inside go to the x64 and right click this executable go to its properties compatibility and make sure this is checked then apply and ok after that we go to the nvidia control panel for amd graphic cards make sure to find the equivalent settings for you then go to the program settings here tab and select the game on this list if you can't find it just click this add here i'll sort alphabetically then locate the game after finding the game i'll add it here then i scroll down a bit here then set this to ultra and cap the fps here to 60 so we have stable fps you can experiment with higher values if you wish to do so but for me i'll stick to 60 and that should be it i hope this video helped you out and peace out